Sometimes clients just don't do the work and that sucks. Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Coveted Consultant. I do client work the same way you do client work. And sometimes clients are inefficient. Right? There are things you know they should do, there are things you know they can do, and they just don't do the work. They don't turn in the form like you asked, they don't follow up the, the way you want, sometimes they're late to meetings or whatever. Like sometimes clients, because they're human beings, are inefficient at things. And sometimes I can hold up your projects. And, and sometimes what you end up with is just the irritation and frustration of clients not performing optimally. Now, I wanna take a moment and try to use this video to unpack that behavior and it may give you some, some sympathy, if not some empathy for that behavior so that you can do things to help them perform better. So let's kind of break that down. Um, one of the classic things that clients don't do is data entry. So when you send off a form to clients, say client, please fill that out and send that back. Yeah, good luck, right? Like, <laughs> good luck. That's one of the cl classic things that clients just don't do. They don't do the data entry. Fill out, fill out, uh, fill out a spreadsheet and move on. They, they just don't. Okay, why? Right, because the data could be incredibly important, but because you don't have the data, you can't move on. So then again, the project, the project is then stuck. Why does that happen? Let's kind of break that apart. Oftentimes, that document that you want filled out is asking for skills that the client may not have. So you're asking the client to give, to give you a summary of their problem. You're asking for the client to, to uh, list out the top 10 reasons why they would or wouldn't do something. You're asking the client to communicate in their own company and then, and then give you the summary of the data. But all of those things require a certain level of skill, efficiency, clarity that the client actually might not have. What can also be present here is that this isn't a task they're used to doing. They only do this task once a year, or they, they do it once every three years when they, when they work with a company like yours. Like, they don't have a lot of repetitions. They don't have the efficiency because they're just not used to doing this task. They don't do it every day like you do it every day. Next, because they don't have the skills and they don't do it a lot, they don't value the efficiency of it. They don't value the need for efficiency. So they don't value, they don't care about it the way that you care about it. And all of that means that they avoid the task or they're slow in completing that task. Now here's the opportunity for a better conversation. Because do you actually think that the client enjoys moving slowly? Do you actually think that the client wants to hold up their own project and hold up their own success? Of course they don't. Do you think the client is aware of how slow they're moving? Of course they are. You may even find that the client is experiencing shame, like they're shaming themselves. Blame, they're blaming themselves because they know they're holding up this important project. So you've got someone who's not good at something, they're not doing it, they're avoiding it, and they feel shameful because they're not moving the way they know they should as a professional. That's the issue on your plate. So if you'll, if you'll, if you'll, if you'll share in the, in the sympathy, if you share in the empathy, you have an opportunity to unravel those emotions for them. Now, yes, I know you're a consultant. You do serious business work, but this is the human side of the work you do. So one of the steps here, one of the major steps here is to let your client off the hook, right? Hey, listen, I understand you haven't turned that form in. Now, you know that form is due, but let's just go ahead and figure out why we haven't completed the form yet. Why haven't we filled it out? What's holding us up? Is it, is it some other department? Is it, is it some clarity you don't have? Is it a step that, that you need and that you're missing? What resource do you need from us? How can we help you? How can we help you complete this form, finish that task so we can push the project forward? The bottom line here is that you can either A, get mad at the client for not doing what you think they should do, or you could B, help that client finish that goal, push that project forward. Where do you think your premium is?